Welcome back. Hi there, folks. We just did the India Pale Ale by the Avery Brewing Company. It was uh, not bad. Not bad. Definitely try with a slice of pizza or some Alfredo. It'd be real good. Now we're going to do the uh, Gordon Biersch from San Jose, California. The Marsden Handcrafted Brit Beer. 5.8%. Oh, 5.8. There you go, bad. Got the side door open. It's between me and my neighbor's house, and you don't hear turd with legs out there fucking barking. <laughs> little fucking dog. Now, I don't like seeing animals get hurt, but if that one got squished by a car, I would go give its corpse a high five. That's pretty dark, Steven. I don't like him. That's okay. Every time I go outside to do whatever, he's out there fucking yakking. And what's sad is he's influencing influence our other dog. The other dog's out there yakking too. All right. You got Woo! any, you got any uh, disputes about your neighbors? Their dog's yak. Definitely. No, they have these two dogs. One's like a lab and then the other's a collie. And it just... They yap and they yap. I gotta get up at five o'clock in the morning and go to work, and they just yap and yap and yap. And it's just like, go the fuck to sleep, dear lord. <laughs> Oof, that smells strong. And that is dark, like your kidneys are failing. <laughs> That's fuckered up. <laughs> fuckered up. <sighs> I'm a little late. We've got uh, four beers counting this one, but I messaged uh, messaged old Ed, let him know we were doing beer reviews. Strong. Is this an IPA? No, this is a Marzen style lager. Marzen style lager. Okay. All right. Real strong. Good, I'm getting the good dark malts mm. in between a, a lager and a, and a porter. Mm. Which the next run of beer reviews, hopefully get some good ones. We'll uh I'll let him taste some man beer. Man beer, folks. Wanna uh, make a penis grow. Or not. Man, I don't need it now. I can already bust concrete standing up. Oh! What was that? That's brody. That was a uh, foam, buddy. That was, that was a foam. <laughs> Did you see it come out? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so on recent topic events of what's happening in the world, uh, Bill Nye the Science Guy's a badass. Did you do that? Just released a photo, and he's walking down a street, and this is Bill Nye the Science Guy of, of our childhood era, just walking around wearing a lab coat, telling you how helium and shit works, and he's walking down a street, wearing a suit, smoking a cigarette, and just looking like a bamf. Which for you, uninclined, is a badass motherfucker. It's real nice. I wouldn't fuck my mom, would you? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, the answer's no. No, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't. Now, my sister's a different story. Oh, shit. I don't have a sister. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> Woo! Lacey, I'm scared. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> All right. Well, back on topic. It smells like um. It smells malty. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, roasted malts. Mmm. That's about it. <sighs> yeah. That's tart. It's very tart. Have you ever had the, um, vine, what is it? Ah, shit. He's stumbling. Uh, Warsteiner Dunkel. Tastes very similar to that, but a little more of a zing to it. Yeah, it's definitely got, like, when you... Like it's gone sour. 
Yeah, like it's gone sour. It's definitely it. Definitely got kicked to it when you when the aftertaste kicks in. What? All right, welcome back. I was just making sure his mother was not deceased. She's not. We're good. He just said that she's a very nice, lovely lady. She's a very nice lady. Single mother. Works too hard. Loves her kids and never stops. That's the theme song to Reba. I apologize, guys. <laughs> I don't listen to country. <laughs> Nobody should. <laughs> I don't know. There's something about it. It's really kind of zippy. Yeah, no. It definitely has like this kick to it. I don't know what it is. Like you tasted eggs that were a little old. Yeah, no. I can definitely go with eggs. Scramble off some eggs that you aren't too good. I just pulled out an ass. <laughs> funny story. I tried to scramble eggs one time. <laughs> I think I'll say funny story about pulling out your ass. <laughs> funny story, I scrambled eggs one time and I caught them on fire. <laughs> I don't know how you do that. I could taste the rainbow. I started to say, taste the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. <laughs> well, thank you, Ed, comma, we can taste the rainbow. <laughs> I bet her stripper name is Rainbow. Again, Stephen has some very interesting friends. Yes. Ed is a, a awesome gentleman. Always respectful. So is Heffy. <laughs> Titty Tuesday, by the way. your first beer? My first beer? Your first um, beer ever. Go was, back to a time when life was simpler. Well, I've tasted liquor before I was, t I tasted beer. Uh, my parents had a, a bottle of Bacardi sitting in the fridge. Ooh. I was uh, probably sitting around 14. Oh, wow. And Bacardi's clear, and what else is clear? Well, water. So I, <laughs> I'd get a, a decent amount of Bacardi and, and whatever pop we had at the time. And I replace it with water, and I, I guarantee you, by the time if they took shots of that Bacardi, it was it was a Bacardi no more. <laughs> oh Lord, no! I think the first taste of liquor I had was twelve, and then I think the reason I tasted it was because my mom's friend got her a small bottle of Grey Goose vodka, and I tried it. That's fancy. Yeah, real fancy. Tastes like shit, but real fancy. <laughs> No, and he was just like, ah, this is terrible water. And she's like, it's not water, it's liquor. And I was like, I'm too young to have liquor, Mom. <laughs> and she's just like, quit being a pussy. And my first, uh, my first time I ever actually went to a party and drank beer, mm -hmm. um, I was probably about 16. Mm -hmm. I had a Lincoln, no, hell, I was 17. I had a Lincoln Town Car. It was 88. Ooh. And, uh, well, I probably drank about nine of them, and it's 3.2%, it's so, of course, I was a lightweight. Mm -hmm. And what did I decide to do? Jump in the car and do donuts. What happened? Well, you know, when you're doing donuts on a shitty land with holes in it, you pop a tire. <laughs> so I'm drunk, changing a tire, and then I pass out. Atta boy. Atta of course, boy. I, you know, the tire was already changed and I, you know, pass out in the house. But mm. next thing you know, yeah. someone who's probably more drunk than me is driving my car. <laughs> and I'm sitting in the back seat laughing. Woo! <laughs> And if I remember correctly, it was around uh, Thanksgiving time, and uh, oh, I remember scraping no. off some pumpkin pie out of the back seat. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Dear God. No. I remember I went to a Christian school. I'm not going to say the name. Won't discourage the name. <laughs> but, of course, we got drunk any time we could, because <laughs> the power of Jesus just makes you want to try that abysmal liquor. It's just holy water. It's just holy water. It catches on fire for a reason. It's holy water. <laughs> it's burning Satan out of the building. But I had this roommate, and, uh, you know, he went to go party, and I, I wasn't really like that. So it's like, hey, you know, you go have fun. I'll wait here. So he, it's about, gosh, 4 o'clock in the morning. He comes beating on the door, and I open it, 
And he's standing there, and his shirt's half ripped open, and he's got medical sensors all over his, like, chest. And I'm like, <laughs> what happened? He says, I think I died. And I was like, no, you didn't. He's like, no, like, I was in the hospital. I think I died. Turns out he, like, basically had alcohol poisoning. I was like, wow. And so <laughs> he's still paying medical bills to this day. And oh, my God. Like, Dear Lord. <laughs> So I'm going to send Ed a little picture. He sent me a very fine picture of a very lovely lady. There you go. By the way, I'm burping up foam. And I just put my lips on that. What the fuck ever. You know I've aged, do you? Syphilis. Oh, well, shit. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what the hell did we just drink? Oh, the Marsen shit. The Marsen, yes. I kind of yeah. liked it right now, but I think at the beginning of the night, I would not turn no. it No, like, you have to go through at least four or five beers before you yeah. really like it. I think, it, is it your turn to put on a number or is it mine? You go ahead. Judges? <laughs> Judges, tell me what you think. The video's not done yet, but tell me. Uh, go ahead, maybe I'll spin around. Okay, cool. All right. All right, you spin it. All right. All right, we're going to give it... Four. Yeah. All right, I will add my teeth already to the numb of... Or, my teeth are already to the point of being numb. So I'm going to toss that. I think it's not too bad. You give it a four. Yeah, give it you a four. You know, it's funny. You toss up a number and you said four. Yeah, I know. Probably not the best decision, but that's what life's for. Not making great decisions. I will give it a little higher. I will say a uh, uh, seven and a half. Mm. But honestly, at the beginning of the night, I don't think I would like it. No, no, it's really tart. I just for yeah. some reason, it just kicks back at you. Kind of zippy. Yeah, no, not about that. No. Mm -hmm. All right then. You see me, homies. For life. <laughs> Vulcan, motherfucker. <laughs> Vulcan for days! <laughs> Spock's dead. That's real sad. Hey, you want to see the funny Vulcan handshake? Yeah. Oh, it's like scissoring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Scissor me timbers. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be seeing you. <laughs>